mind your own goddamn business. There's no kids there. Consenting adults can do whatever the hell they please. They don't need your goddamn permission. Oh, do we need permission from grifters now to enjoy our adult lives? Is that what we need? I need permission from beanie boy Tim Pool to go to a drag show? And by the way, shut up and sit down, Tim. How about that? Tim Pool made a comment on his show, Timcast, that sparked a heated exchange between Sank Uyghur and Anna Kasparian during a live episode of The Young Turks. In this clip, We'll dive into how Tim Pool's remarks set off a passionate debate between Sank and Anna, who has been showing signs of shifting her views recently. Some speculate that she might be moving away from the Young Turks, though her ownership stake in the company may complicate that. Let's take a look at this moment where Tim Pool's comments led to a fiery discussion on the show, highlighting the tensions between differing political perspectives. Right wing. excuse to silence our opposition. I'm sure he had that take when it came to uh, getting Roy Moore elected in the Senate in Alabama. No, they, right? look, they, the right wing yeah. loves people. They I, love it. And I'm, I'll wow, that's a pretty bold statement to make on my YouTube channel. I'm honestly speechless. The right wing has been very vocal about protecting children in schools, especially regarding certain topics they find inappropriate. Some would argue, not me personally, but some would say this is akin to grooming. I want to be clear, I'm not endorsing that perspective. I'm just stating what others have said. It's important to note that the right wing is very committed to protecting children. They've also pushed movies like Sound of Freedom to raise awareness and expose these issues. Right wing content creators on YouTube are often the ones addressing these concerns and calling out problematic behavior toward children. So to suggest that right wingers support these people is a pretty wild statement. Let's see what else he has to say. Poor response, because there's no end to the depravity of right-wing media. He says, we shouldn't tolerate uh, grooming kids. Club Q had a grooming event. How is it a grooming event? It's a drag show at a, mind your own goddamn business. There's no kids there. Consenting adults can do whatever the hell they please. They don't need your goddamn permission. Oh, do we need permission from grifters now to enjoy our adult lives? Is that what we need? I need permission from beanie boy Tim Pool to go to a drag show? And, and by the way, shut up and sit down, Tim. How about that? How about that? Always involved in everyone's personal life and personal business. Didn't say a peep when it came to Roy Moore. Not a peep, because it's all about political power. It's all about getting your guys elected into Congress. And don't give me any of that garbage about how, no, I'm not on the right. I'm not on the right. Oh, I just yeah, yeah. spew right wing propaganda all day and all night. I'm, I'm not on the right. I'm Shut not up and sit that. down. I'm not debating that. He's a monstrous right winger. He's a terrible, terrible person. Yeah, he's like, oh yeah, look, I'm jaywalking, I'm progressive. But uh, you know, I think we should like, the, all gay people are pedophiles and groomers, and we should all attack them and just do all these horrible things. I haven't seen Anna Kasparian and Senk Uyghur react to someone like this, aside from Donald Trump. It's surprising how much Tim Pool seems to be on their minds. I don't think Tim Pool ever claimed that every single gay person is a groomer or anything extreme like that. I believe what Tim P is getting at is that he finds certain things like drag shows to be inappropriate or unsettling, and he questions why people like Anna, who aren't involved in that, are so passionate about defending it. Even if children aren't present, some people still find these events strange or out of place in society. It's not just seen as odd by some, it's viewed as part of a broader cultural decline. There's a belief that these types of actions contribute to the moral or social degeneration of society. So it's puzzling to see such strong defense of these activities by individuals who aren't directly involved in them, like Anna Kasparian. In this case, I can understand why Tim P holds the views he does. That's Tim Pool, Matt Walsh, Tucker Carlson. You all have lunatics in your audience and you weaponize them and you know it. I mean, look at him, I'll finish the tweet to be fair. How do we prevent the violence and stop the he says. Oh, in other words, well, I didn't quite like the way he murdered all those people, but hey, I really like the fact that he attacked these people that I'm calling groomers based on nothing. I mean, he said it, Club Q had a grooming event. He said, it's not a goddamn. But you monster. Okay, so 
Well, what is a drag queen? A drag queen is someone who dresses in a way you don't like. It's a Are you insane? Are you insane? Why do you care how they dress? This is pretty concerning, and honestly, it's a bit embarrassing. It's not really about how people dress at drag shows. It's more about what happens at these events. It's just strange, and I'm not sure how else to put it without being too explicit. The existence of these events and behaviors feels off to some people, and while I'm not advocating for laws that would ban them entirely, I do think society might be better off without them. Even for the individuals involved, there's a concern that they might be dealing with underlying issues. While Tim Pool may have been wrong to label them as groomers, I still feel that this type of behavior shouldn't have such a prominent place in society. Maybe it's just Tim Pool stirring things up on social media as he often does, but the broader point still stands. It might be best if this kind of activity faded out. Okay, we don't do that. Because unlike you, we're not trying to get people killed. Unlike you, we're not monsters who are constantly attacking people who are gay and in the LGBTQ community. I'm sick of these right wingers. Look at it, they're almost celebrating it. I mean, he nearly brought goddamn pom poms to the shooting. Listen, if you have problems with uh, men dressing as women or men dressing in drag, you know, first thing I would do as a right winger is I'd clean my own room, okay? Why don't you go have a conversation with Steven Crowder, who never misses an opportunity to dress as a woman, which I have no problem with, but clearly he has an affinity for it. And you guys seem to think anyone who dresses in drag is somehow a groomer. So why don't you go have a conversation with your groomer buddy, Steven Crowder? That's a strange comparison. I don't see what Steven Crowder has to do with Tim Pool in this context, but since Anna Kasparian brought him up, let's clarify. Steven Crowder has said many times that he runs a comedy show. He's a comedian at heart, and his content reflects that. It's centered around satire and humor, with commentary on current events from a right-wing perspective. Tim Pool, on the other hand, runs a more serious, news-based show focused on politics and culture. Crowder's show often includes costumes and exaggerated performances for comedic effect. It's satire, and it's meant to be lighthearted, even though it touches on real issues. The drag shows being discussed, on the other hand, don't seem to have that same satirical element. They're not intended as comedy, which makes it a completely different situation. Crowder's show is designed to be funny, but what's happening at these drag events feels unsettling to some people, and it's not the same. So I'm not sure why Steven Crowder is being compared to Tim Pool in this conversation. Let me know in the comments what you think about Senk Uyghur's intense reaction to Tim Pool's likely bait tweet. This was probably one of the most extreme meltdowns I've seen from Senk, and it's surprising to watch how much it stirred him up. Share your thoughts on this whole situation with Anna Kasparian and Senk Uyghur's response to what Tim P had to say, and whether you think it was justified or overblown. Let me know what you think about how the Young Turks handled it all.